Hi everyone, so this is the fourth question from exercise 4.3. That's the last question of this exercise. Here I'm doing the simple equations of a class 7. So this is an interesting question. The question is construct three equations starting with x is equal to 2. So there's a no fixed answer for this question. It's completely on you how you're going to modify this. So I'm going to show you a few ways here and you can do the same thing or you can just change it it's completely on you so just remember the answer will not remain same for everyone it will gonna change so depending upon how you're taking that so let's start with the first one so here they're saying starting with x is equal to 2 right so i'll take x is equal to 2 i have to form a three different equations here so first i'm gonna do here is just simply multiply with any certain number on both the sides so let me multiply here with 7 okay so I'll multiply multiply 7 on both the side both the side of equation so in that case this will become 7x is equal to 14 so this is my first equation over okay equation number one I got it now I can also do one more thing uh, to the given one to the x x is equal to 2 you can actually divide also like how I multiplied with 7 on both the side you can divide also so divide this is this is a one way of writing it now second way I'm showing you here divide let me take 5 so divide 5 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give me x upon 5 is equal to 2 upon 5 this is my second equation see okay it's very simple now you can actually make it more uh, like you can add few more steps to this uh, let me take it as like I'm gonna take again x minus 2 only listen here so I'll have a x minus 2 so first what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna multiply with certain number and add and subtract it to make it like different equation so here this is the third one I'm creating so first I'll be gonna say here is uh, let me take, take multiply phi on the both the side so first this is for the third equation I'm doing here so multiply 5 on both the side of equation so in that case this will gonna give me 5x is equal to 10 now see it's not it over okay uh, what we're gonna do after this is this is the same as the first equation there I have multiplied with 7 and here I'm multiplying with 5 I want to just create a more different equation so after this you can do something like you can just subtract with some number so I'll say subtract 3 on both the side okay this is the same continuation of the same thing uh, subtract 3 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give me 5x minus 3 and here 10 minus 3 so 10 minus 3 is 7 so 5x minus 3 is equal to 7 this is my third equation see I have created a three different equation by adding subtracting or dividing you can just create any equation whatever comes in your mind okay this is a one way of doing it now let us take the second question see you can do one thing for second question also instead of x x is equal to minus 2 you can do the same thing uh, the answer will just get minus sign on the right hand side that's it but still let us try a few more steps here I'm gonna just do I'll go and take some other number instead of the same thing okay so here we have x minus 2 this time so x is equal to minus 2 so first what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just multiply with uh, let me take a negative number this time so I'm gonna multiply with minus 3 on both the sides okay to just make it more interesting so I'm gonna create a first equation here so multiply minus 3 you can take any number I'm just taking negative number minus 3 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give me 
uh, multiply with minus 3 so minus 3x is equal to minus 2 into minus 3 is 6 okay this is my first equation I got now second one you can also divide here I'm going to divide with 4 so divide 4 on both the side of equation So when you divide it, this is what we are going to get. So this will be equal to minus 3x upon 4 is equal to 6. Okay, I am sorry, this is the previous equation. We should take x is equal to minus 2. So this is x upon 4 is equal to minus 2 upon 4. We can cancel 2 and 4, it becomes 2, minus 1 upon 2. So from here we can say x upon 4 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 is your second type of equation. Now we have a third one. So for third one again I'm going to do a few more steps to get a different type of equation. So the first thing here I'm going to do here is uh, multiply with uh, 3 on both the side. Okay? You can divide also. I'm just choosing a multiplication here. So multiply 3 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give me 3x is equal to minus 6 now to this you can subtract some number or add some number so I'm gonna add some number to this so I'll say add you can take any number I'm taking 8 over here so add 8 on both the side of equation so this will gonna give me 3x plus 8 is equal to minus 6 plus 8 minus 6 plus 8 is 2 so therefore 3x plus 8 is equal to 2 so that is it we got a third equation also so like that you can create any equation whatever comes in your mind just create that there is no specific answer for this question the answer we are going to vary from person to person here I may get one answer you may get different answer so I hope it's clear to you and in case you have a question or doubt don't hesitate to drop a comment I will try to solve the question or solution form of video or I want to give you an answer there itself so thank you so much for watching. I hope you have understood everything.